Hey everyone, welcome to the daily reading for Wednesday, November the 14th, 2018 for all signs, all signs. Guys, this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone. I will call out the signs as I see them. Also, uh, being that this is a general reading, um, if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Don't try and force it to resonate with you. Um, sometimes I feel like, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard to watch the reading and not resonate with it, but at the same time, I, I, I do pick up specific energies and messages, and uh, those people will come forward, those people will come forward if they resonate, but, um, because I'm reading for so many people, you know, it's not always possible, uh, for all the messages to resonate, so let's see what's going on, we're gonna pull three cards today. And as usual, and look at the card at the bottom of the deck, and then we're going to pull a love card for tomorrow, a love message for tomorrow, as well as a life and career message. Okay, so please, what are the messages and energies, Spirit, for Wednesday, November the 14th, 2018, for all signs? What do we need, what do we need to know for Wednesday, November the 14th, 2018? for all signs, please. What are the most important messages and energies to share with the collective for Wednesday, November the 14th, 2018? We have the Two of Swords, the Nine of Wands in Reverse, and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Coins. Okay. So I'm actually seeing two people, three people here. One person, and by the way, I can be reading for an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, I'm also seeing air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. How does that look on camera? Okay, good. You guys can see. With the three of coins here, I, you know, we have this one woman who's making a beautiful painting, and we've got two other people. Now, it feels to me that because we have... I'm sort of seeing like relationship dynamics here is what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing negotiations where one person is kind of in charge of something, one person has this vision, you know, and they may also be already with someone, they may already be in a relationship, and I feel like this this is about a third party situation in this in this case. Um That's kind of the, the feeling that I'm getting. <clears throat> but let's see what the other cards are telling me. We have two of swords here. So someone is refusing to possibly reveal their, their true feelings. They may be afraid to make a decision. This can be someone who um, doesn't want to talk to anyone, doesn't want outside help, outside opinions. If you look at her posture, she's got her hands crossed over her, I would say, stomach area, which is the major receptive area for emotions, uh, receptivity, etc. So I feel like there's a bit of defensiveness here and also a little bit of an unwillingness to see something for what it is, you know, choosing to... Choosing to not see something, choosing not choosing to possibly not make a decision about something. It's it's some kind of a stalemate. Uh, now we have this fire sign energy of the Knight of Wands. I read the Knight of Wands in reverse as someone who is sitting on their head. So they're not expressing how they truly feel. They're not acting on their passion. Could be a Sagittarius, Knight of Wands, or an Aries, 
definitely fire sign energy, Leo, very Sagittarius. Um, so we have a stalemate situation here. Someone is not acting on their true feelings. Someone is holding back when it comes to their passions, uh, their advances. They're not making any moves. And this seems to be resulting in... Um, needing to let go of some pain with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Uh, now, I feel like this, I'm really getting air sign and fire sign here in the main spread. I feel like this Nine of Wands is separate from this Two of Swords and this Ten of Swords. Because what I see happening is the longer there is a prolonging of a decision, the longer there is this holding back, um, the more the anxiety grows, the greater the anxiety, the greater the pressure. And I'm actually seeing here that someone is really over this whole situation. They've been holding on for a very long time. And I, I really feel like it's, um, it's now gotten to the point where there could be a relapse. There could be a relapse in terms of feeling the effects of having holding on to the situation this person for so long of of not making a decision because the ten of swords in reverse is clinging on to something that's very much over it's already done it's already over but it seems to me that there could be two people here that are refusing to admit that what they have is is done what is going on here Someone is refusing to say that they like someone, and the other person is also not acting on their true feelings. And this is resulting in the dynamic of holding on to something that just needs to be expunged, for lack of a better word. This could also be a dynamic that is creating a third-party situation. I feel like one person has a vision here of what they want to create, but they may be bringing other people into the picture. Um, if you can see, this woman here is still holding this person's hand, the main, the main woman's hand here. So there seems to be still feelings there, but I still feel like, you know, there are other people involved and that can create some kind of a dynamic from what I'm seeing. Let's see what's under the Three of Coins. Seven of Wands. Yeah, someone is backing down from this connection or is not speaking up. I definitely feel here delays with words and speech. Um, someone here is not coming forward or is afraid to come forward in this connection. Um, but all of that's doing is prolonging something that just is art that just needs to end. Okay. Um, and this, like I said, this could be a love triangle, it could be a third party situation, but um, the dynamic is such that no one here is coming forward, no one is speaking up, there, there, there is really nothing to, one person here is interested in working things out, but I feel like there's no communication um, necessarily, she's looking at her and she's looking at him. But there seems to be no one is, the three of them are not working together is what I'm seeing. One person could be backing off of the connection as well. So, Ten of Swords reverse goes back to the Nine of Swords. Like I said, it's just creating anxiety. It's creating uh, mental issues. It's creating stress for people. Um... Let's go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clarify. I changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the reading with this deck here. What do, what do we need to know for Wednesday, November the 14th, 2018? Okay, wisdom, power of the divine, well watcher. So usually this card talks about, you know, where does power come from? It does not come from you. It comes from the divine. 
which is given to you, which is channeled through you. Um, so, for example, if you're trying to control or if you're in a situation where someone's trying to control the communication, trying to control the dynamics um, in a relationship type of situation, um, and or is just watching for someone, waiting for someone to um, initiate, uh, that's very, you know, it's, it's either too much control or too passive. Okay, but instead of, this is about letting things happen. This is about, um, you know, don't wait for the pot to boil kind of thing. It will boil eventually. It will happen on its own. If something is meant to be, it is meant to be. If it's meant to be over, it's meant to be over. So let me go ahead and just read a little bit to you. The well watcher signals the need to go within to contemplate the true source of power in the world which he reminds you is that of the divine. This is a message to let you know that you're being called to the well, and this unseen power will be there and will be yours to align with. This affirmation and prayer will invite the divine to bring miracles and resolution to your life. Thy will be done through me for the highest good of all and for the true manifestation of my purpose. You will know the way forward by the still small voice within. The divine also may answer your call by sending others to help guide you. Challenger. The well watcher comes to let you know that you've run out of steam. Selfful alone isn't enough to make things happen. All cannot be yours at this time. If you feel you're going nowhere, it's because you're meant to stay put. Willfulness can lead to you becoming like the bull in a china shop, creating havoc as you push forward. Remember the sacred creative source of the water in the well. Drink some, be still, and contemplate the true origin of power. It isn't you. So drink deeply of the wisdom of the divine and listen to the beautiful music playing through your life. When you've made conscious contact with your higher power, you can move forward again, replenished and renewed. This is also an important time to restore harmony in your relationship since you may be temporarily out of tune with one another, right? Not listening, this person is holding back, it's creating more pain. So an important time to restore harmony in your relationship since you may be temporarily out of tune with one another. If there's a power struggle between you, remember that only the, div only the divine has true power and you won't feel the need to struggle anymore. No need to struggle. And no need to try and control dynamics within relationships since that is not a, not really at your advantage, to your advantage at this time. Trying to make things work, trying not to make things work, just let them be. Just let them be. The love card for the day is strength. Okay, so that's a, actually a Leo card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, <clears throat> I'm also seeing here that uh, the the what the reason I like this card is actually there is a strong sense of someone leading, someone being strong, um, being able to pick up, uh, have the courage. But I think this card came up yesterday as well as the underlying theme or challenge. So it's about being courageous, it's about being strong, it's about having compassion. You also have to have good self-esteem here, and I really want to emphasize the strength card is all about having a very strong sense of self-esteem. Not ego, not coming from the ego, but just knowing who you are and what you stand for and having a lot of integrity. Okay, so guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you would, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And also, please leave your comments below. Sending you off with love and light. And have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Take care.